baby moo pup. What are you doing? You being cute? Good job. All right. What's up, everybody? Doing a resin pour. Killing time. Kujo's yelling at me because he's hungry, but we're going to do a pour first. So, we're using a regular Envirotex light two-part resin. Um, we've prepped our canvas. Check out this video right now for the process. This will ensure that you don't have a canvas that dips in the middle. If you've done a pour, you know the frustration of it being beautiful, but it all running to the middle because paint's heavy, but resin's heavy. So to avoid that, just check it out right in that area. Okay, so the colors we have, I believe we did Magenta by Doc Martens. It's an India ink. What else did you put in there? Gold. We did the gold that we've been using lately, this Mehron body paint pigment powder. Amazing. You have to order it unless you have, oh, good save. A body paint store in your area. What color is that? This is, I want to say this. Or this. It's probably this purple. It's a transparent purple for airbrush. It's by Golden. If it's a high flow acrylic, so if you do acrylic pours, chances are you already have some high flow acrylics with you. He also used Bombay Doc Martin Violet India ink. Did you use this black? No. Also use Malto, nope, focus. Um, acrylic, this is a liquid. Malto is super awesome, spray paint and acrylic. They have everything for anybody that does graffiti art. We want a distributor in the States, so if you know anybody, holla. That was the face holla. of love. Yeah, holla, purr, 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 purr. Pound, pound, pound? No, no, no pound. No pound. All right. So we lay down just a little bit of the clear resin first. That lets the um, other resin flow more easily over the surface of the canvas. Now let's watch the action. I feel like a figure skating announcer waiting for the triple double aced it beautiful landing look at that flare fun fact about this performer is he has been doing art since he was a child yes he came out of the womb doing artwork oh my god <laughs> I don't know where she came from, people. My mama. This pour looks like a Halloween mixed with Valentine's Day. Love it. I don't know where you get Halloween from. I think it's the deep purple and black. There should be green in here if it was Halloween. Semantics. It's a science word I picked up somewhere. This type of pouring is called a puddle pour. And if you like anything geody, geody, geode like, I don't know. This would be the best method of getting a geode look. I mean, not obviously not three puddles, but maybe three puddles. We'll see. The gold is popping up through. 
everything. We left all of our heat guns at the place that we're doing there, bar and the marble gold and white, so we're just going to have to use the old school fire torch form. Crazy looking. It always does something different. I don't know why it reacts like that. It acts like there's some kind of like oil or um, alcohol in it, which gives these crazy cells, but it's just, there's no additives. It's just the paint. Love it. It's a beautiful piece. I like this faint, like, mm -hmm. it's a technical term. <clears throat> You're just going to make it extra stunning now, huh? That is gorgeous, but I'm always a fan of purple and gold together. I almost wish you had gold or something in the middle of this, but I don't want you to wreck it on account of my talking. That's so awesome. You can totally tell the weather is different. Mm -hmm. like, like it's really smooth. Yeah. This looks like leopard. Mm -hmm. This looks like a meteor that's like heating up. You know what I'm talking about? Like fire coming off of it. 
No, just me. Okay. You're getting a call from this number. No idea. They're calling again. Look at that. 